Hey, hello everyone. I hope you are doing fine. Okay. <clears throat> we start this program of soil mechanics and I'm trying to do maybe for undergraduate student. And I will try to do both in French and in English. So you can use this video also to learn French if you are interested, okay? So this is the first video of this program. And here is the schedule, the content. In total, we have 17 chapters. And in this video, I will just do the first one. Yeah, the this chapter one, which is just introduction actually. Okay. Yeah. So chapter one, geotechnical engineering. This is just about history of geotechnical engineering. This chapter has two points. The first one is introduction. And the second one is like geotechnical engineering like before 18th century. And this will show us, uh, we will talk about how people used to deal with geotechnical engineering before 18th century. Okay, so let's start with the introduction. As introduction, in geotechnical engineering, we need to define soil in our way, like in uh, engineering purpose. For example, if we take agriculture, in agriculture, they have their own definition of soil. In geotechnical engineering also, we have to define what is soil, okay? So in geotechnical engineering, soil is just combination of mineral grain, decayed or organic matter, liquid and gas. They're all mixed together. That makes soil. So the soil serves as construction material and it also supports foundation in civil engineering project. So to understand soil, civil engineers need to examine soil property. Property like uh, the origin of the soil itself the grain size distribution. How this? How is it easy for the soil to drain water, for example? So drainage ability, compressibility. Is it easy for the soil to be compressed? The shear strength. That one is very important in geotechnical engineering, and also load bearing capacity of soil. Okay, so we need to know all this information if we we are going for a project civil engineering project okay sorry so What is soil mechanic and what is geotechnical engineering? Do you know the difference between these two? So soil mechanics is like study the property of soil. Those property we, we talked about before in the previous slide. So this, the soil mechanic, I'm talking about this, this property. Origin of the soil, grain size, distribution, drainage ability, all these property. Soil mechanics take takes care of this property of soil. Okay? And the behavior of the soil under various force, various situations. How the soil will behave. So this is soil mechanic is teaching us this. 
and geotechnical engineering will take like uh, what soil mechanic is teaching us and use it to apply in design. So geotechnical engineering applies soil mechanics and rock mechanics principle to design. Okay. Design what? Foundation, retaining wall, retaining structure, half structure near the half surface. There are a lot actually. Here is one example of what we do in geotechnical engineering. This is an example of a bearing capacity failure of shallow foundation, which means if we don't do our job properly, it will backfire. It will cause a lot of uh, fatality, you know. So, if design is not done properly, this kind of situation may happen. And then, here also is another example of problem we, we have in geotechnical engineering, landslide. This one here is landslide in, in Peru, 2018. And as you can see, there are houses here. So it look like the whole soil mass is moving and it will destroy everything on its way down. So this happened when we have like a, a mountain or natural slope. So those slopes need to be uh, mechanically or there are many ways to stabilize these slopes. Okay. We have this kind of issues also sometimes in open pit mine. Okay. So this is how, uh, what is geotechnical engineering doing? Okay, if you are wondering what is the difference between soil mechanic and geotechnical engineering, this is the difference actually. Okay. Okay, let's move to the next point of this chapter, which is like a little bit history of geotechnical engineering. So geotechnical engineering before 18th century, what people used to do. So before 18th century, Geotechnical engineers, geotechnical engineering's origin date back to very old time. But a true understanding emerged in 18th century. Okay. The true and it means it only around 18th century that people start to say, ah, we need to take this more seriously. But before that, people who used to do geotechnical engineering without even knowing it, okay? So before that, they just used to rely on past experience and experimental practice without any science at all, no fundamental science. They just used to do it based on the previous experience. Okay, then structure were built on, on the, the previous experience, previous experiment, and sometimes uh, those structure don't stand, they were like destroyed, but sometimes also some of them can last very long time, and some of them actually exist until now. So dike, for example, dike dating back to 2000 years before Christ were built in basing of, of the Indus to protect, there may be India, I don't know, I'm not sure where is this, to protect the, the town of Mohenjo-Dara. 
for example. Okay, and this is like the 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 country we call Pakistan today. And during also, uh, this period, Chang Dynasty in China, which is like between uh, thousand one hundred and twenty year before Christ to two hundred and forty nine years before Christ. During this area, many dikes also were built for irrigation purpose. Okay, so beginning around two thousand seven hundred before Christ, several pyramids were built also in Egypt. I think many people know know about this. Most of which were built as tombs for country pharaoh and their belonging, like the consul, during the old and middle middle kingdom period. This is example, for example, of a pyramid. How they build this. So as you can see, the, this the construction of those pyramid pose a lot of challenges regarding foundation, slope stability, and also underground construction. Okay, underground chamber. As you can see, some of the construction underground. A lot of challenges. Up to now, it is not maybe still clear how those pyramids were built. Okay. We have also one of the most famous example of problem related to soil bearing capacity in construction. The construction industry uh, before 18th century, which is the leaning tower of Pisa in Italy. This, this photo show this Pisa tower. And this tower, it was constructed in the beginning of uh, 1173 when the Republic of Pisa was like in growing and continue to in various stages for over 200 years. So it's like they build it little by little for very long, on very long period, I mean. So this structure weighed about 15,700 metric ton, heavy. So it's supported by circular base having diameter of 20 meters, 20 meters, circular base. So the tower has tilted in the past to the east, north, west, and finally to the south, many directions. But recently, investigation showed that a weak clay layer exists at a deep, at depth of 11 meters below the ground surface. So that that's the problem of this tower actually. So compression of which cause the tower tilting. It means that under this tower, eleven meter, there is a weak clay layer, and this clay layer is causing the tilting. This is why the building, the tower is building tilting actually. Okay, so it became more than five meter out of tomb with 54 height method. So this is too much. It means like, for example, if you go, for example, here, the vertical direction from the bottom, the top, this will be, for example, five meter difference, which is very uh, too much. The tower was closed in 19, 90 because it was people think 
table fold it will like fall collapse then they call they close it but recently it has been stabilized uh, by excavation the soil from under the north side the north side of the tower about 70 met, uh, metric ton of F were removed. So people work on the tower to make it stable. So as the ground the ground uh, gradually settled to fill the resulting space, the tilt of the tower is So now it the tilting is around five degrees. Okay, the half degree change is not noticeable, but it may be structure considerably more stable. So after several foundation related problem during construction over past century, engineers and scientists now began to address the property and behavior of soil in more methodical manners, more methodical way. So starting in the early part of in the early part of 18th century, so based on the emphasis and the nature of study, in the area of geotechnical engineering, people have divided like the time from one thousand nine hundred and seven hundred to nineteen twenty seven. We have four major periods for geotechnical engineering. The first one is the classical period. And the second one is classical soil mechanic, phase one. Third one in classical soil mechanic, phase two. And then the last one, fourth one, is modern soil, the modern soil mechanic, which started in 1910 and 1910. So this is the end of this video. So in the end of this chapter also. So we will continue uh, until the end of this program. And I hope you will learn something. Okay. If you want to, if you are someone who are learning French also, the French version of this video is available. Thank you.